The United Kingdom is a nation built on entrepreneurial spirit. The international success of this traditional brewery in West London is evidence that business can continue to flourish in tough economic times. Beer has been brewed on this site for 350 years, but demand goes way beyond the UK's shores. One in six barrels of Fuller's beer is now shipped abroad, and increasing global sales have led to a £4.5 million investment, adding 30,000 barrels to capacity. We now export to over 60 different countries all over the world, and uh, it's going extremely well. We've been here for 167 years, and we want to be here for another 167 years, brewing the best beer. Business has always been at the heart of London's history, with the Romans the first to truly recognise the trading potential of the city's location. All this came about really for one very simple reason, the River Thames. We're incredibly lucky in London in that we're based on this fantastic river. London has always been a trading city and it's really in London's soul and the soul of Londoners as well. Take a walk through the heart of the original city and the historical link with commerce is clear to see. These days that creative entrepreneurial spirit is still burning strong. It's epitomised by international award-winning designers Jay Osgaby and Edward Barber, who won the contract to design and produce the 2012 Olympic torch. We knew this was a, obviously a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but this has been one of those projects which just clicked from the beginning. You'll notice that it's um, triangular in, in form, and there are various reasons for that. The two main reasons, it's the third time it's, the Olympics has been in London, 1908, 1948 and 2012, and the Olympic motto, which is faster, higher, stronger. The torch features 8,000 small perforations representing the 8,000 runners who have the honour of carrying the Olympic flame on its relay around the UK, ending at the opening ceremony. I think seeing the torch uh, being lit is going to be one of the most uh, amazing moments of my career. The Barbaros Studios, Barbaros Studios are in short, short, the fringe of the financial, financial, financial district, district, an area, an area which has become, become artistic, artistic, creative, creative and technology, and technology hub, hub of the UK. London's tech city is Europe's fastest growing tech cluster. In the last three years, the area has seen a 700% increase in digital startup companies, helping the United Kingdom to lead Europe's digital boom. Songkick, one of the first startups here, is a live music tracking website and app service, so fans can keep in touch with their favourite bands. There's a real sense of collaboration and a real sense that you, know, you can just pop into another company next door and, and, and talk to them about stuff. And, throw ideas around and everybody benefits from that. This growth in Tech City is set to continue. Google, who already employ 1,000 people across the United Kingdom, are opening a centre here to nurture startups, offering facilities, expertise and a space to interact. Couldn't be a more exciting time to be in the tech industry in London. The thing that's going on in uh, Tech City is perhaps the most exciting development of new ideas and innovation that we've seen for a very, very long time in this country. And we're very excited to be part of that and doing what we can to help elevate the success that's already growing in that area. Such rapid growth in the United Kingdom's digital economy has created a demand for a larger talent pool. Ravensbourne is nurturing the next generation of professionals specialising in the creative and digital sector. Their new building next to the Olympic gymnastics venue, the North Greenwich Arena, provides £72 million worth of the very latest high-tech equipment for graduates and start-up businesses. We produce some of the most employable graduates in digital media, interactive technologies and broadcast futures anywhere in the world. What we're finding is increasingly technology, media and design companies from all over the world want to come to London specifically because of that pipeline of talent. The Olympic Games is fueling the energy and optimism in the United Kingdom. The connectivity of high-speed broadband from Shoreditch out to the Olympic Park will sustain this digital boom. After the Games, the broadcast and press centres will be rapidly transformed into nearly 90,000 square metres of affordable office space. Improved transport links and business development driven by the Olympics 
allied to a creative and entrepreneurial approach, means London intends to remain at the centre of world business, as it has been since Roman times. More than 330,000 new companies are registered in the United Kingdom every year, and it's the number one location for European headquarters. We're seeing whole new business areas being built, a whole new large residential areas being built, um, the largest urban uh, park in Europe for 150 years, uh, new connectivity, new transport links, um, connecting up different parts of the city, connecting up the high-speed link with Eurostar, with, with Heathrow Airport, and that provides huge opportunities for businesses. British ideas and innovations have shaped the modern world, from the jet engine to the World Wide Web. If London is designed the design capital, design capital, capital of the world, then it's backed up, backed up, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, Kingdom proud tradition, proud tradition manufacturing, manufacturing, and high-end, high-end, high 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 they're being produced in Coventry. The UK have some amazing manufacturing facilities and they're still very much the leaders in technology um, for this kind of thing and that's why you see in Britain most of the Formula One teams are actually based in the UK. The advantage that London has always had is it's been a port. You know, it's always been this place where People have um, come and gone and people have stayed and there's always been this sort of confluence of ideas and cultures. And because of that, rather like New York I suppose, but it's become this sort of uh, crucible of ideas and creativity.